Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rob and Joel. We are coming to you from the Mammoth Springs Campground in Yellowstone National Park. All right, so uh, we've been on the road for a week now, and I gotta get figure out how to do this. So um, we've been all over the place, and Mammoth Springs is next on our on our agenda. So uh, tomorrow morning we're doing sunrise at Mammoth Spring. Um, we're trying to figure out what to do for the afternoon. If you don't know Yellowstone, uh, Yellowstone is a huge park. Everything's a long drive. So uh, we're gonna go into the store. We've got to stock up on some supplies. It's about time I changed my clothes and uh, maybe got cleaned up a little bit, so I'm going to be going and doing a little bit of that action. And uh, I would say that's about the extent of the activity for today, other than it's pretty dark here. We might do Milky Way again tonight. Um, we might drive down and do Sunset at Geyser Basin. Uh, we're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. And, of course, uh, as long as you're along for the ride, you'll see what happens. All right. Welcome to the adventure. We'll see you soon. So as you know, we're uh, we're here in uh, we're here in Mammoth Springs, and um, we're scouting it out, and uh, we're looking for the opportunities for two things. One, we are going to do the Milky Way here tonight, provided those clouds cooperate and go away. And the second thing is we're getting ready for tomorrow morning to do the sunrise here at. Uh, what is it? Uh, something Springs. I can't remember the name of it. No, I don't either. But when we were driving through. It's one of those times where you try to photograph something that not everybody else is photographing, and I think I found that spot right here. The problem is, is I can't get up high enough, so I'm going to have to improvise, and uh, I need to get up higher to be able to shoot down, and uh, so that's the direction we're going right now. Be back in a minute. So we are getting into nighttime at uh, Mammoth Hot Springs. We have another beautiful clear night. We're tired, but I hate to turn away an opportunity to photograph the Milky Way. So we're actually gonna go up and we're gonna scout the spot out. We're gonna see if it'll work for us. I'm a little disoriented with regard to where it's gonna be showing up at. We're gonna see what we can light and stuff. We've got about an hour and 15 minutes before we'd be ready to photograph, but Joelle's real tired. Stuffy. Allergies. She had a nap. Kind of. So um, we're going to go scope it out and see what we have. I have to get the bear spray, though, first. Oh. Bear spray and gun. Okay. All okay. right. So uh, if we get the shot, uh, it's going to be on the screen here in just a second if we get the What's your problem? Tell them what your problem is. My problem is, is I don't think it's a good idea for us to be in the dark 
with the grizzlies around. It's not safe because it's one thing in the daytime. We're gonna be pitch black. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea, Rob. It'll be all right. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If uh, you don't hear from us after this, well, you'll know it was the grizzlies. Hey, it's morning at Mammoth Hot Springs, and we are at the Canary Springs Overlook, waiting for the sun to come up. Lots of steam, and you can see the colors in the uh, in the formations over here. Lots of oranges and whites and tans. A lot of steam rising. So what we're doing right now is we're just trying to figure out where we're going to shoot from and. Um, there's a tremendous amount of color here. It's pre pre dawn, so there's not a lot of sunlight yet. But when the sun comes up over the mountains there uh, and and starts hitting this steam, it's going to be really something. So we're going to work on uh, we're going to work on photographing that. I'm using a, an 18 to 35 lens here. I've got the graduated neutral density filters, the trusty filters that we're going to need, and uh, using my tripod uh, because it's a long exposure right now and uh, we're just going to play around here for the next hour hour and a half and see how it goes so yeah. all right we'll see you for coffee at the van yeah Well, this is gonna this is gonna call it good from the Mammoth Hot Springs. We got some beautiful shots, uh, some artsy things and some regular things um, over the Canary Springs. So it was pretty special. Um, call it good on this one. Uh, we're gonna head up and get a campsite, and uh, I don't know what we'll do over the next couple of days, but it'll be different videos. So. Again, if you could like and subscribe and hit the notifications and join the, join the crowd, that would be extra special to me. Also, one of the things I want to make a note of in this video, what I'm going to start doing, because there are so many spectacular images from these various areas, it's just it's overwhelming to the mind, and it's difficult to pick just one. 
Um, so I'm going to put a few in the videos just to show you with settings and what we're doing with regard to uh, the settings of the camera, the composition, that kind of thing. But I'm going to start posting a link every place that we go. I'm going to have a page on my website with all of the photos from that area. So you can click on the link in the description below. Uh, it'll be live on my website at raphotog.com. You'll be able to see all of the images. I'm not going to have a ton, you know, maybe 10, 15 from each area. But it just gets to the place where it's, it's so difficult to choose that uh, I want you to be able to see what I saw while we were there without just saying, this is the one image. Now, there will be this is the one image for the video or this is the three images for the video. We will have multiple images on the website and the link will be in the description for every shoot that we do. So thanks a lot for coming by. We have to get going because we've got to drive this big loop and then we're going to go get a campsite, I hope. One more thing as we're closing out here and getting ready to leave. Um, if you've been to one of these places and you've got some suggestions for subscribers of places they could go to photograph or you have questions for me or you have comments or, or thoughts about what's going on with regard to what we're doing and things that you'd like to know, please comment in the comment section below. Uh, that helps me to know what to do for you as a viewer and what you'd like to see. And um, I think it's just good for the community. All right, now, Rob out.